Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of equations, a polynomial system of equations. We have a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed, which is the sum of three cubes, equals 10 plus 3abc, which is the product of abc. And then we have their sum, and then we're supposed to find ab plus ac plus bc. Great. Let's see how we can handle this problem. Now, if you look at the first equation, that might discourage you a little bit because we have the sum of three cubes, not two cubes. Is there a formula for this? Yes, there are quite a few formulas regarding cubes, but we want to use a very special one. And this is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3abc from both sides. I'll tell you why in a little bit. And when you subtract 3abc, this expression equals 10, right? Because we have 10 on the right-hand side. Great. Now, why did I subtract 3abc from both sides? Because I wanted to get all the variables on the same side. But that's not the main reason. The main reason is this is factorable. How is that possible, right? This is kind of like a really weird expression. You know, as weird as it is, it's factorable. How do you factor it? Good question. I'm going to factor it first by factoring the sum of two cubes. So I'm going to start with these two. All right. Let's write this as a plus b cubed minus 3ab times a plus b. This is kind of like an expression that I really like. And we also use this. You remember? This is not actually factoring. I shouldn't say factoring. I maybe write it in a different form. But the idea is, where, where did we see this? Oh, yes, the cubic formula. Remember, we've done quite a few cubics, and yes, this is how the cubic formula works. Anyway, so these two are equivalent. That's an identity. But how is that helpful? Well, follow by c cubed minus 3abc. Hopefully, you'll see how that works. Now, here's what we got. We got something like this and that. So a, if a, f plus p is replaced with something like, let's say, x, this is going to become like x cubed plus c cubed, which is the sum of two cubes. Exactly that's what it is. So we're going to write this as sum of two cubes, like this. And the rest is also nice because it has a, they have a common factor, which is negative 3ab. Do you see that? And that's going to give us a plus b plus c. You have to write the c as positive because we're negating both of these. Right? Cool, cool. Now this is equal to 10. Now, I told you this is factorable because a plus b cubed plus c cubed is divisible by a plus b plus c. Why? Because of sum of two cubes. Remember the formula? Call this x if you want, like I said, and you're going to get x cubed plus c cubed, which is equal to x plus c multiplied by x squared minus xc plus c squared. That's the sum of two cubes. Now replace x with a plus b, and you're going to get the following. a plus b plus c multiply by x squared, which is a plus b squared, minus c times a plus b plus c squared from here. Okay? Oh, Notability just gave me a good arrow. Anyways, so this is what it is. And then follow by minus 3ab, a plus b plus c. And you got, you got yourself another common factor. There you go. a plus b plus c. If you take that out... You're going to get a this minus that. Let's go ahead and expand it. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus ac minus bc plus c squared minus 3ab. Awesome. Do you think something good is going to come out of this? Absolutely. Of course. Now, notice this. a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Sum of three squares. Awesome. And then I have... 2ab minus 3ab. Wow, that's minus ab minus ac minus bc. You see the symmetry? Beautiful, isn't it? Now, here's what it is. And now what are we going to do with this? This is equal to 10. Awesome. We also know that a plus b plus c is equal to 10, right? So let's go ahead and replace it with 10 here, which means that this whole thing is equal to 1. Let's go ahead and rewrite it a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus ac minus bc is equal to 1. By the way, uh, this can also be written as sum of squares, but we don't need to do that. 
Now, what do I know? I'm trying to solve for this, right? So I do need to find this, not individual values of A and B, A, B, C, but I have that subtracted, right? So what can I do? Yeah, well, here's the thing. You know that A plus B plus C is 10, so why not square it? Because that's going to give you the sum of squares for sure. Let, let's see what else we get from here. Now, when you square a trinomial, obviously, you get 2AB plus 2AC plus 2BC. That's the bonus part. Equals 100. Now, what am I going to do with this? I'm trying to solve for this, right? Plus this plus this, of course, without the 2. So what I can probably do is replace it with something. And from here, A squared plus B squared plus C squared can be written as 100 minus 2 times AB plus AC plus BC. And I think it makes sense to call this something. Since we're looking for this expression, how about calling it P for product? Oh, that's not a product. That's a sum. Let's call it S. Okay, great. No problem. Let's call it S. And we have the S here again. Now notice that this is my expression. Let's go ahead and write it. Replace it with 100 minus 2S minus S. I have to subtract S one more time, right? And that's equal to 1. Look at that. This is what I get from here. So 100 minus 3S is equal to 1. 3S is equal to 99. Right? 100 minus what equals 1? The answer is 99. A lot of times when I see students working this kind of expression, some students and most students tend to do this. I just want to mention this real quick. They subtract 100 from both sides. And then they get something like, uh-oh, negative 3, something, something. And sometimes they forget to write the negative and they just write it like this. And then they get the wrong answer. You don't need to do that. Think about it this way. 100 minus what number equals 1? The answer is 99. Because 100 minus 99 is exactly 1. Make sense? Easy, right? Try to find the missing number that way. You can solve equations mentally. Anyways, that's another story. I talk too much. I know that people complain about it, but I can't help it. I'll try to stop. S is equal to 33, and I was looking for S. <laughs> so the answer is 33. Great. So AB plus AC plus BC is equal to 33. Now, one thing you should never forget is that this expression is factorable. And let's go ahead and rewrite it one more time. This expression is equivalent to a plus b plus c multiplied by a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus ac minus bc. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.